Hey guys, this is Leo with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I want to go over um, showing you guys how to create a loop manually in Dot Loop, and then once you get your form signed, how to go ahead and download the signed forms and manually upload those to your opportunity in command. Now, let's talk about when you would want to use this tip. Um, so, you would want to use this tip mainly if you are a Dot Loop user who is paying for your own Dot Loop. Uh, subscription. So if your market center has moved over to DocuSign, however, you decided to continue paying DotLoop correctly to extend your contract so you could use DotLoop. Um, you can still use DotLoop absolutely. However, it just won't link with command. It won't sync with command how it would if it were a brokerage account. That's not really too big of a deal. Okay, It won't create too much of an inconvenience in your life as we'll just need to manually create the loop in DotLoop. And then just download your signed forms from there and upload them manually into the command opportunity. And I'll be walking you through that now. All right, another time you might want to use this feature, um, I have seen uh, some glitches going on with the start a transaction button in the command opportunity where it's not being responsive just in case that's going on in your account. Um, I believe this will be a short-term issue, but in case it's going on in your account, this will be a workaround to show you how you can create a loop right away and continue without much inconvenience. All right, so first thing that you would want to do is still create your opportunity in command. So we do always need to have the opportunity created, okay, and the opportunity is where you'll go to you know, manage the transaction on your pipeline. It's where you'll also go to submit your signed paperwork for compliance review to your market center staff. All right, that's all done from the command opportunity, whereas the loop and dot loop, which will need to be created separately, in this situation, um, that will be used to access all of your forms, edit your forms, and um, send those over to your client for signatures. All right, so let's go ahead and create our opportunity. So first thing first, we'll go to agent.kw.com to log in to get going on this process. And then we're going to click on the Opportunities section. So once you're logged in, if you are logging in, feel free to pause the video. But we do want to come into the Opportunities section of Command. Now before we create our opportunity, please note that you will need to have added your client to your Command database first. So anytime you start a transaction in Dot Loop, you always need to add your contact to Command first. That's always the first step in starting your transaction in Command. So if you have not already, you can go ahead and add that contact to your command database by clicking on the uh, second icon down on the command menu. On the left-hand side here, it looks like a little contact icon. So you can click on that and click, you know, add contact on the right-hand side to go ahead and start adding your contact in. Feel free to pause the video so you can go ahead and add that contact in anytime so you can catch up. Once you've added the contact to your database, we can go to the Opportunities section of Command. So that is the handshake icon about halfway down the Command menu on the left-hand side. So handshake icon there. <clears throat> and we're going to create our opportunity by clicking the teal button on the top right that says Create Opportunity. Now before you do that, please just note um, if you have more than one pipeline on the top white toolbar here. So if you're on a team, you might have a team and a personal profile, or pipeline rather. You may just have one or the other, and that's perfectly normal as well, but please just note that because that's where you're creating your opportunity to. So we'll click Create Opportunity on the top right. And I am just going to focus on the three main fields that you need to continue on. Um, of course, the other fields in creating the opportunity is important, so please check out the Opportunities 101 class for full info on creating the opportunity. However, the three main items you need to start an opportunity to get going on this is number one, opportunity type. So you are selecting if this is going on your listing, buyer, landlord, or tenant pipeline here. There's no way to change this after you create it. So please note where you're creating that. So I'm changing that to opportunity type is a buyer. Coming on down the second field you have to fill in is the client. So this is where it does matter that your client is already in your contact database. You cannot add them at this point. So we could go ahead and start typing in the contact's name to select them from the drop-down. 
I'd just recommend typing in the name versus copying and paste it because you do need to select the name from the drop down to link the client to the opportunity. All right, the last uh, required field we need to fill out is the commission rate on the bottom right here. And I can tell the required fields because of the red asterisks here marking those required fields. So we're putting in our commission rate for your side of the transaction, that 3%. And this is changeable, so if you know that changes going down the road, no worries, you will be able to change that information. And let's click Create. So on the bottom, we'll click Create. And once you click Create, it will take you to the Opportunity Details. And typically, from the, so from the Documents tab, so if you click on the Documents tab on the top white toolbar, this is where you'll go to submit your paperwork for compliance review. So just to show you where that is, okay, on the left hand side of the documents tab of your opportunity, you'll see the option to pick checklist type or it might be defaulting on your checklist if your office only has one for you. Okay, your office sets up these compliance checklists so yours will look different than mine. However, whatever the case may be, on the left hand side if you need to, click pick checklist type and go ahead and select the one that would apply. Once you select the checklist on the left hand side, you'll see different folder options on the left as well under that. So for under contract, closed, whatever the case may be. And you'll notice a list of all the forms that you need to be in compliance. Now, these are not the actual forms. It's simply like a checklist, just showing you like placeholders of the forms that you need to add in order to be in compliance. You'll notice the differences in the required versus conditional forms, um, whether you need that or if it's just conditional to a certain situation that you would need it. And you can go ahead and click Add File on the left-hand side to add those forms, or you can even attach multiple on the top. And we're going to come back to this, okay, because at this point in the transaction, we're really just needing to start our opportunity and start our loop separately. All right. And in the past, all right, um, or if your office is still using dot loop, uh, like your office is, has, is paying for a brokerage account, some offices have extended their contract with dot loop. If that's the case, you can click start a transaction on the right hand side and select dot loop. And that will create the loop in your dot loop account right away. However, if your office has switched over to DocuSign, because most of KW is transferring over to DocuSign instead, so if that's the case for your office, um, if you're not sure, by the way, feel free to ask your office staff or you can shoot us an email to support at scottlowrymarketing.com and we should have that updated in our notes to be able to let you know one way or the other. But if you click on dot loop here, in theory, it would create a loop in that dot loop profile or, okay, if you are paying for dot loop yourself, right, you have a dot loop premium account. That's great. I love dot loop. I don't blame you. Um, so you can go ahead and still use dot loop with command. However, at this point, if I try to go ahead and select the dot loop option, it would not create that loop in there. I would just need to switch over in a separate tab. So in your browser, you can go ahead and add a separate tab and go to dot loop.com to log in. So I'm just pulling up a separate tab, dot loop.com and log in. From here, I can go ahead and add that new loop. So on the right hand side, I'll click add loop. Okay, and it will take me through the steps of creating a new loop. I do not have a premium account, so it won't let me create a new loop, but right, we're just following the steps, creating the loop name, adding a photo, and any other steps it might include for you. Now at this point in the process, let's say I created the loop, all right, and this is also where I would go to access my forms in theory. So you could go ahead and add um, in your loop, you could go ahead and add those documents in. However, you normally would edit your forms in dot loop and send those out for electronic signatures again, as you normally would. Okay. So, and if you are needing steps on that, I will include a tip video um, in the description of this video just on how to use dot loop in general, just to help out. However, um, once you have gotten all the form signed, so at this point in our imaginary transaction, we accessed our forms, filled them out, and sent them to our clients for electronic signatures. So now we have those signed in our, in our loop. 
So now in order to submit your signed paperwork for compliance review, you just need to submit these forms for review in your command opportunity in the document section where we just were. So all we need to do to make that happen is we need to go ahead and download the forms. So if I go ahead and click on one of the forms, you can do this a couple different ways, but if you click on one of the check boxes next to the form, you can download these one at a time by clicking on the download option on the top right. It will generate a PDF and save that to your computer. So I could go through and do this for each of the forms separately. Depending on what you find is easier, you can also do this from the three dots on the far right of the form name. You can download it here as well if you find that's easier to go through and do it that way. All right, so the concept here is I'm going through and I am downloading all the forms from this file to my computer that I need to submit for compliance review to my office, all my signed paperwork. Once I do that, so I manually downloaded the forms individually. It's important that they're downloaded individually. Once I do that, I can switch tabs again. So I'm back in my command opportunity. So in the documents tab of my opportunity, this is where we go to submit our signed paperwork for review to your market center so they can do compliance review on your forms and make, make sure you don't go into real estate jail. This is how they give you your commission check. This is an important part of the process. So once you have the forms downloaded to your computer, you can add file one at a time by clicking on that option on the far right of any of the form names. Okay, so you can add that manually in. You can drag and drop. So especially if, you know, I'm using Chrome. So of course, downloads look slightly different in your browser. But if you're using Chrome and it downloaded that to the bottom of your browser, like on my screen, you can simply drag and drop the form in and click to assign that. Of course, you can also click here and it will browse your computer. And you'll probably need to go to your downloads to go ahead and pull those forms in. Just double click. So that's how you do it one at a time here. Same exact concept for attaching multiple files, but it's just faster. So there is an option to attach multiple files at the top. So if you click on that option, this is where we can come in with that manual option, right? So we're manually adding these forms in. Again, if you have your downloads open, you can drag and drop. Look how easy it is for me to just drag and drop my downloads so I can really do this in you know minutes. Or of course, if you feel more comfortable, I know drag and dropping is a bit next level, so if that's out of your comfort zone, feel free to also click on this box. It will browse your computer so you can access your downloads to double click the files this way. And you click attach, and you can submit to your MC whenever you're ready for that. Okay, feel free to check in with your office staff on when they want you to be submitting for compliance review. All right, guys, if you have any questions on that, please do not hesitate to reach out to us, support at scottlavoymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to um, give you any guidance that you need on this transition. All right, guys, hope this helped, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.